talent and brains. These 13 celebs paid their dues in the land of higher education all the way to graduation day. Well, at least some of them did. Not only did these familiar faces take their education to the next level and attend college, they got their Einstein on in the big leagues, ladies and gents. The Ivy Leagues, to be exact. So as if talented actors didn't already make us feel like peasants, these actors, musicians, and comedians attended the best of the best colleges, and then they became rich and successful using the right side of their brains. So without further ado, let's hand out these honorary diplomas, shall we? First up coming to the stage is Miss Emma Watson. Emma attended Brown University and graduated in May of this year, 2014. She received a bachelor's degree in English literature after a long journey juggling school life and filming movies, you know, just the usual. Emma initially enrolled in the prestigious university back in 2009, but she had to take time off in 2011 to film Harry Potter. While making the press rounds and promoting her film Noah, Emma told the Sunday Times this, on the first day I walked into the canteen and everyone went completely silent and turned to look at me. I had to say to myself, it's okay, you can do this. You just have to take a deep breath and gather your courage. She's like a real life Hermione. There are no limits for this girl. Next on the stage is funny man Conan O'Brien. Conan graduated magna cum laude from Harvard University in 1985 where he studied U.S. history. Who knew? I guess when you're a comedian, or really anyone, it definitely pays to have some hefty background knowledge of historical events. That way, at the very least, you can make educated jokes about the president to his face. Now, I know the relationship between the president and the press can seem a bit strained at times. Some in this room have even accused the president of being distant and aloof. When I asked the president about it earlier, he said, oh, and then walked away. <laughs> Next up in the 2014 class of celebrity brainiacs is Elizabeth Banks. Miss Effie Trinket graduated magna cum laude from the University of Pennsylvania in 1993, where she majored in communications with a concentration in theater arts. And shout out to all you tri-delts out there because Elizabeth pledged Delta, Delta, Delta. And yes, she can help you, help you, help you. Had to do it. And the cherry on top of Elizabeth's academic dream story, she met her husband on the first day of classes. Yeah, it doesn't get any cuter than that. College sweetheart love is a thing, people. So for all of you college students out there looking to meet that someone special. Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Because the struggle, it's real. Next is actress, writer, and producer slash renaissance woman, Mindy Kaling. Mindy graduated from Dartmouth University in 2001 with a degree in playwriting. And in her hilarious book, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? The comedic actress jokes saying, I went to an Ivy League school to pursue my love of white people and North Face parkas. Mindy was actually influenced by another Ivy League comedian, Mr. Conan O'Brien, who she interned for on his late night show during her her sophomore year. While in school, Mindy was also a member of the improvisational comedy troupe, The Dog Day Players, and an aka master in an acapella group called The Rockapellas. It's really just kind of perfect. Next up on the Ivy League train is Academy Award winning actress Natalie Portman. The overachiever graduated from Harvard University in 2003 with a degree in psychology. Portman told the New York Post, I don't care if college ruins my career, I would rather be smart than a movie star. Boom. Oh, and did I also mention that this girl can speak German, Japanese, Hebrew, Arabic, and French? Super casual. All right, next up making her way to the stage is Tatiana Ali. You may know her best as the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's adorable little cousin Ashley Banks. And Tatiana attended Harvard University and graduated with a degree in African American history and government in 2002. And Tatiana got her stomp the yard on as an O2 stepper. From Bel Air to Harvard, I gotta say, not too shabby. 
Bringing some more testosterone to the list is office funny man John Krasinski. John graduated from Brown University in 2001, where he initially studied English literature, but later switched to theater, hence the whole acting career thing. Oh, and also on a mini school side note, John traveled to Costa Rica before starting his freshman year to teach students English, and then he helped coach a youth basketball team in East Providence, Rhode Island, all in a day's work. James Franco is another little smarty pants who attended an Ivy League college after attending UCLA. James then went on to earn his master's degree at Columbia, and as we speak, this dude is currently enrolled at Yale University, another Ivy League school for all of you guys, earning his PhD. And the impressive track record does not stop there. To boot, James also studied film at NYU. Crazy. Maybe that's where he learned to take such well-angled nude selfies. You never know. Claire Danes is next up on our Ivy League alum list, having attended Yale University. Claire studied psychology at Yale for two years before she decided to take her life on a different route and therefore said, Sayonara Bulldogs dropped out to focus on her acting career. Matt Damon made a similar choice when he cut his time at Harvard short in 1992 to chase an acting dream in Hollywood. And it's a good thing he caught it right, because he was chasing his dreams. Okay. Well, Matt said that the first line of his Harvard application read, For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be an actor. It was fate! For his screenwriting class, Matt was assigned to write a one-act play, but instead handed in what was basically the first act of a full-length movie. Well, long story short here, one scene from that first act later became the classic film, Good Will Hunting. Needless to say, he got an A in the course. But beyond that, he wrote extensively in the um, margins, you know, to please uh, keep up with this. That it was that it was worthy. That it was good. That it wasn't anything close to a failure. That it was something I had to pursue. So I showed it to Ben Affleck, and the rest is history. Wise words, Professor. I kind of think you were on to something. This next Ivy League alumnus has some serious skills with the keys, as her name ever so conveniently implies. Alicia Keys attended Columbia University on a, get this, full scholarship. What, like it's hard? Needless to say, Alicia was pretty much born a child prodigy. At age seven, she was mastering classical piano. By 12, she was writing her own songs. And after graduating from Manhattan's Professional Performing Arts School, as the valedictorian, might I add, she was accepted to Columbia. However, her stint at the Ivy League did not last long, for after only four weeks into her freshman year, and by the way, she was only 16 at the time, Alicia left after being signed with Columbia Records. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is another Columbia brainiac. He attended the university in 2001, where he studied history, literature, and French poetry. Coincidentally, this came shortly after Joseph starred in the modern Shakespeare adaptation, 10 Things I Hate About You. Joseph dropped out in 2004 to concentrate on his acting career once again, and although his time was short spent, he does credit New York City for really forcing him to grow as a person. And lastly on our Ivy League rundown is the legendary Miss Meryl Streep. Yep, I'm pretty much convinced that she's a fairy godmother. Anyways, Meryl received her Master's of Fine Arts in 1975 from the prestigious Yale School of Drama. And believe it or not, Meryl has said she actually felt a lot of pressure and harsh competition from her peers, but she bucked up her confidence and made it through. And then, you know, well, she just went on to become the most Academy Award nominated actress in history. No irony there. It just goes to show that you never know what great things will happen for you when you work hard and challenge yourself. So there you guys have it 13 celebrities who've attended Ivy League universities it really just goes to show that yes education is a valued priority even if you do end up being successful at something that has absolutely nothing to do with your degree so did you guys know all of these celebs were Ivy League alums share your thoughts in the comment section below and then make the intelligent decision to subscribe to our channel and also you got to click right over here to check out 16 amazing celebrity photos that almost broke the internet thanks so much for watching clever news I'm Jocelyn Davis and I'll see you later